Well, good morning, friends. Welcome back to another video. My name is Sarah, and uh, today I'm gonna make some uh, homemade cheater cheese danishes. They've been on my mind for days. I'm finally doing it. I'm not even following a recipe. Seems like an easy general idea concept. So let's jump in and see how I turn out. All right, so far in this bowl, I uh, got a brick of cream cheese and I just softened it for like 25, 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna dump in some vanilla. There wasn't much left in my bottle, so I'm just filling it, probably a teaspoon or maybe a little bit more than that. And then instead of just regular sugar, I wanted to use cinnamon sugar. So I'm just gonna dump some, in the, not a ton of that, but just some to get it just a little sweeter. And then we're just gonna mix this up the best we can. And then move on to the next step. All right, I'm gonna push this mixing task on to somebody else while we get the Danish parts ready. Now for the Danish bread part, I'm just using crescent rolls. Super simple. Everyone generally likes these. My oven's preheated. I'm gonna get them in this pan so I can just throw it away. Now we gotta bust these open. It never pops. There we go. Struggle with that for a minute. Just rip these apart into the triangles. And what it showed was just kind of like of rolled up just a little kind of put it together it doesn't have to be beautiful it's going to get covered with the topping might need another pan so far this is super simple I think we're just gonna go with four to a pan. <clears throat> Everybody was busy, so nobody did my mixing, so we'll be back in a minute when this is all mixed and ready. All right, we got our dip mixed up. So what I'm gonna do, these are just kinda thrown together willy-nilly. They're gonna be eaten, so it doesn't need to be beautiful. Kinda putting a dollop in the middle. Something just went flying by my head, but dough. I already did the other pan is Danish topped or cheese topped or whatever but I'll just show you a couple okay this part is done here they well, here they both are we're gonna go ahead and toss these into the oven and we're just gonna follow the cooking instructions on the package all right real quick while they are cooking there's just a little bit left but because it's so delicious, I'm gonna go ahead and save it and maybe put like the cinnamon sugar cream cheese bagels. Why not, you know? I could do another tub of crescent rolls, but that'll make kind of a lot of danishes for us. So we're just going with this. Well, you know, and if we eat all the danishes today, which definitely is possible, then I'll just have this ready. But definitely don't waste it. All right. We'll be back as soon as those danishes come out of the oven. Like liquid bread. All right, these beauties are out of the oven. I might take a knife and kind of smear it just a little bit more, but uh, they smell incredible and I can't wait to dive in. So there's pan one. And there's pan two. All right, now it's time to tr try them. All right, I'm gonna show you how I am packaging these. So I just took some, I had parchment paper, so I just cut it into some strips, fold it in half. These are cooled down now. Packaging them gently like that. And then each one is getting their own bag, just so germy hands aren't touching all of them. You get your very own little package. And then these are just gonna go in the fridge. 
So thanks for making Danishes with me. We'll see you again soon.